Hello guys, welcome to my channel Noodle. I have this messages list here and uh, this list of images. So what I need to implement is just a list to show the user to a, a list, basic list of items. I'm gonna add one more thing here. I and just simply copy this, copy this, copy this, so that the list becomes tool. So some sort of basically the size of list becomes much more than what I want to show. So for showing the list to the user, I can use simple composable function list and grids and inside this i can use the column just simple iterate through this messages dot for each using for each for each and uh, here we get the messages as lambda then simple create a text box and inside this text let's pass the message now if i run this app you will see let me show you first so you can see simple we have these messages and if i increase the padding of all the messages or uh, i can increase the padding here actually modifier dot padding as 10 dp and similarly i'm gonna add padding to each text and now if i run this you can see subscribe like share comment and Thing. but here's the problem i can't scroll it top and bottom anything so what the use of this list to show to the user because user can't see these items it can see till what one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven eleven times follow this and after that just gone and if the list is bigger than this one then it's no use but we can do one thing actually here we can just provide the vertical scroll here and in this we need the scroll state so just pass the scroll state here scroll state by using remember scroll state and then pass the scroll state here is this gonna work let's see yes it's gonna work because we can scroll it now the vertical scrolling is happening but then why we need this lazy column or lazy row so basically if you want to display a num large number of items or a list of unknown length you can use a layout like column and row but it can cause performance issues why because since all the items will be com composed and laid out whether or not they are visible so basically when i pass this uh, iterate this list and the composition happens for this list and grid composable and inside this then the column composition composable the the text composable is composed for how many times the list the length of the list basically so if the length of the messages if i just simply what am i gonna do is pass this i just copy paste now if i and now if i run this let's run now because the list is is big enough now i guess to understand the performance issue so now if you can see it is not loading because it is taking time now it loaded and that's the issue but the thing is that scrolling is not gonna affect it because all the items already laid out so that's why this is cool if we have some that is not big enough like uh, 10 to 20 items then you can use column and uh, provide the vertical scroll so you can use that okay but if you have something like a big users list big profile user big, uh, big users list or the post list in the instagram so that will cause the issue because you don't know the about the length and the issue is here that all the items basically the all the messages here and uh, when we pass the message to the text composable so the text composable is composed and laid out as many times as the size okay so that's the issue and uh, the thing is that we can't even see the last item or most of the last item but the, it is uh, laid out it is composed so that's the issue here so that's why the compose uh, provides a set of components which only compose and lay out items which are visible in the components of viewport these components include lazy column and lazy row as uh, the name suggests already the difference between them is the orientation in which they lay out their items and scroll lazy column is related to the column produces a vertical scrolling list and lazy row produces a horizontally scrolling list and uh, simple now the lazy column components basically different to most layoffs in layouts in the compose instead of accepting a column and uh, let's actually first create the lazy column and then see so let me just simply copy paste this because we're gonna use that lazy column now lazy column has this content block and i'm gonna use this so now pass the items here and inside this items i'm gonna pass the messages then message and now import it simple provide this 
now if i run this this is simple our lazy list this is lazy column and this will provide us the vertical scroll and uh, this uh, lazy list basically now if you see the scrolling is not that smooth like column because the items get laid out when we can see okay so it's like recycler view whenever we need the view it will recycle the view and show the data simple now you can also use um simple like uh, item and display one thing i'm gonna simply remove this message and first item and you can just simply after the list of items to display just simple and right or the last item now if i run this but the list is too big so we can't see the last item because we need to if we want to see this last item we need to scroll it at to the end so if if i scroll it to the end which is too big okay let's forget about that so basically you can use this uh, lazy column as a scroll view in of the xml and inside this you can provide anything like here you can provide the top app bar and then here you can pop Uh, provide any list and uh, then you can simply provide the this so you can use this as a sticky bar actually uh, if you want and i will actually gonna show you how you can we can create a sticky header uh, in this using this lazy column so that's it and uh, this is the lazy column now lazy grid what is lazy grid so let me just uh, comment this and let's create the lazy grid lazy grid so lazy grids are two lazy vertical grid and the lazy horizontal grid as simple lazy column and lazy row lazy vertical grid and lazy horizontal grid so i am going to create the lazy vertical grid here and inside this we need to pass some things so the lazy vertical grid will display items in vertical scrollable manner container and span across multiple columns while the lazy horizontal grids will have the same behavior on the horizontal axis and also i'm forget to tell you one about this that the lazy list scope or lazy grid vertical grid scope has provided us the lazy uh, dsl scope of us a dsl scope so which allows us uh, apps to describe the item contents and uh, the lazy content is then responsible for adding each item's content as required by the layout and the scroll position dsl basically is stands for domain specific language so that's it and uh, now in the lazy vertical grid we need to pass certain things that is columns so you can pass the columns and simply if you can you need to use grid cells dot add object minimum size you need to provide i'm going to provide 120 dp now you can use adaptive and uh, let me also show you the source code of the lazy vertical grid and this is the source code columns you need to provide the columns how many columns you want your grid to show okay and uh, then we have the modify then the state the state we gonna see content padding reverse layout vertical and everything okay what are the grid cells so grid cells basically uh, helps us to understand the available size and the arrangement of the uh, items so we can provide the fixed we can provide the adaptive and if i show you we have these adaptive fixed and fixed size so fixed basically number of columns fixed size means the whole vertical grid size Okay, so I'm gonna use adaptive first, and then show you the fixed one. Adaptive. Now inside this lazy vertical grid, just simply call the items here, and provide the list of the images, and then simply provide the image as lambda. Create the icon, painter resource. Provide the ID as image, content description blank, and if I run this now. so basically lazy vertical grid is uh, lets us specify a width of items and uh, grid will fit as many columns as possible any remaining width is distributed equally among the columns now here we need to pass the tint also because i use as the icon tint equals to color dot unspecified and then you can also use the um, span in the item it uh, is also available so you can play around with that also i can see the images here and uh, after this you can see the images here basically so that's it now if i provide the fixed here and provide the columns which is uh, three if i provide the uh, column as three then you can you will see uh, exactly like the this layout actually if i let me run this if i'm not wrong exactly this uh, we gonna see and we will get basically by using simple now if i provide this two 
then you can see that's how it will look now let me show you the vertical staggered grid so staggered is also in vertical and in horizontal available so you can use that also and uh, here you need to pass the columns if obviously staggered grid says dot adoptive or fixed whatever you want so i'm gonna pass it as 200 dp and uh, images yes now if i run this is there any issue no. so now you can see this staggered one so basically it just adjusts all of this and uh, it just takes the width and height as per the height as per the uh, image and if you use low lazy horizontal grid then it will take as the uh, width as the as per the image okay so that's it now so basically you can also use vertical item spacing here horizontal arrangement you can also use content you can also use these are the things you can basically uh, play around with that but uh, we will move forward and uh, is by specify fixed here and pass the three then you can see mm, okay yes run this because it is not going doesn't feels like it so you can see the staggered one now if i pass this as two then you can see simple you can work around with that actually you can play around now we have this uh, content padding and uh, con now let me just comment this and and comment this and also let me just simply remove all of this or oh, this is too much list is too big and, uh, in this lazy column i'm gonna pass the content padding so what is this content padding padding values top equals to 20 dp not top sorry uh, horizontal equals to 20 dp vertical equals to 10 dp okay now the padding values is this so uh, if i run this actually let me show you first and what does that mean actually let's see first that so here we pass the horizontal as 20 dp and vertical as 10 dp so this means that it will add 20 dp uh, to the horizontal edges of the items that uh, left and right basically and if i pass the uh, let uh, and the, this vertical and this vertical uh, padding basically means that top and bottom of the content top and sorry the first and the last item basically add the 10 10 dp to its top and its bottom meaning not sorry sorry the first item basically add 10 dp to the top and the last item add the 10 dp to the bottom so this is that and uh, it doesn't mean that it will include the paddings uh, to each component not each item it just add the padding to the lazy basically the list okay that's it and uh, the content spacing is also there let content spacing means we can provide the vertical arrangement actually so here you can provide the arrangement dot spaced by like this and here you can provide the this so now this will include basically 4 dp space in between each items okay that's uh, how it works so uh, it's vertically basically so you can just say and in a lazy column it's like horizontal arrangement it is similar to the column and row of so vertical arrangement and horizontal arrangement is like that now the lazy vertical grid however uh, accept both okay yeah that's it now let's uh, talk about the item keys by default each item state is keyed against the position of the item in the list or grid. however this can cause issues if the data set changes since items which change position effectively lose any uh, remembered state if you imagine the scenario of lazy row within a call lazy column the row changes let's talk about the item keys by default each item state is keyed against the position of the item in the list or grid however this can cause issues if the data set changes since items which change position effectively lose any remembered state if you imagine the scenario of lazy row within a lazy column if the row changes item position the user would then lose their scroll position within the row to combat this we can provide a stable and unique key for each item providing a block to the key parameter and uh, simple providing a stable key enables item state to be consistent across data set changes how we gonna work around this let me show you and uh, this is our messages let's remove this actually and remove this also these are our messages and uh, i'm gonna items uh, and inside this items just pass the items equals to messages and key so here i'm gonna pass the key here key. and uh, let me just simple message so what we can do here is we can just specify the id for each message stable plus unique key for the each item we can do is let's simply create a where i equals to 
रिमेंबर म्यूटेबल स्टेट ऑफ जीरो ऑर्डरिंग Correctly. For example, if our item contains remembered state, setting keys would allow compose to move this state together with the item when its item position changes. And uh, that's it, I guess. Let's see the item animations. So, if you already used Recycler View, I hope uh, you will know that it atim- animates item changes automatically. Lazy layouts provide the same functionality for item reordering. The API is simple. You just need we just need to set the AT animate item placement modifier to the item content. Uh, you can actually work around with this animation also animate item placement basically you can use that and uh, you can also use some other animations also with this now let's talk about the sticky headers in this basically we can use the sticky headers okay, first let me remove this and uh, let's use the sticky header here the sticky header so what is this sticky header you can actually provide the header like what we can power let me show you like we can have uh, the list as list of a string and uh, like messages and photos okay now let me just simply iterate through that how what do i name list okay list dot for each so for each list and uh, what is this list here um, the value of the category so let's let's use the it here and pass this sticky header so each item just pass the it let me show you the just text here actually and after this just simply pass the item just like this so first time it will provide items equals to messages and uh, second times also it will provide the messages but we don't want it so what i'm going to do is so uh, what we can do here is just simply check the text here and as per the text we can provide the composable if it is messages then it read this and if it is uh, images then uh, provide this let me just have this messages not photos just images and if i run this here you will able to see the sticky header and with that sticky header we can see the list of items the using lazy column messages here then we get to see the messages and sticky header as image you can see and we get to see the images and you can create this sticky header as per your need you can provide padding there you can provide anything you can provide simply everything okay and also specify this as uh, basically just have this uh, what we can say uh, similar things okay now how we going to react to the scroll positions so that's also the very useful case and uh, we need to create this what where list state so list state equals to remember lazy list state now it will remember the lazy list state and we need to pass the list state to the uh, state equals to list state to the lazy column and we are good to go and that's how we can use now how we going to use this so you already saw in some cases that we have the button here in the when we scroll down then we get to see the button as uh, top button that will just simply help us to move to the top okay so that's we can use that button we can use actually and uh, uh, so i'm going to just name it as the i'm going to show you the list state behavior so you can actually use simple this state dot first visible item is index so whenever the first visible item index is greater than 0 that means the user scroll down okay so that's it and then the layout info you can get the layout info from this list state you can uh, also get the interaction is to source you can also get the first visible item scroll offset commonly you need to know about information about the first visible item like uh, lazy list state provides us the first visible item index and first visible item scroll offset properties use the 
showing and hiding a button based on if the user has scrolled past the first item or not then this is helpful and uh, reading the state directly in the composition is useful when we need to update the other ui composable but there are also scenarios where we the event does not need to be handled in the same composition uh, a common example of this is sending an analytics event once the user has scrolled past a certain point so to handle that efficiently we can use an snapshot flow okay so that's also something like uh, if user index change then we just this uh, filter it and collect some other data or for past some first time event so that's also the case and how we gonna control this you can use the list state dot animate scroll to item like uh, this here a scroll to item or animate a scroll to item both are similar uh, this scroll to item is just scroll it to this and animate scroll to item is just uh, animate it and then scroll it to yeah that's it actually uh, this is not uh, any thing that we'll need to implement in this one and uh, after this we have uh, the paging here we can use the paging also the paging library enables us apps to support large list of items loading and displaying small chunks of list as necessary and uh, compose paging library basically we can use to display a list of paged content so for that purpose we can use the pager.flow.collect as lazy paging items so that's why i can't use so basically the uh, it just use collect as lazy paging items extension function and then passed in the returned function lazy pricing items to items in our lazy column this is the items and here we can pass this and i'm gonna end this video actually and i will implement this pager thing in the next video because it is uh, a complex topic it is not that much easy to understand in this one in this one just uh, to give you a side that you can use lazy paging items in the ir2 items in our lazy column similar to paging support in views so yeah that's it for this video uh, that's it for the lazy uh, list and grids of the jetpack compose that's it for this video if you like this video click like button if you already subscribed then good press the bell icon if you don't and if you don't then subscribe share like comment and i will see you in the next one